What does it mean to win? Is it to be the best? Or just do your best? Do you have to beat the competition? Or just beat the odds? Winning is such a subjective thing. We know the people on the platform are winners. They have the medals to prove it. But what about Natalia Panamareya and Yevgeny Sviridov from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania? They didn't win a medal. The pair represented their native country of Uzbekistan even though Natalia had a broken foot. Aren't they winners? Obviously, the athlete who crosses the finish line in the fastest time is a winner. But what about Prawa Navrajara, a professor at Drexel University? He never even made it to the finish line. He trained here in Philadelphia just so someone from his homeland of Thailand would be there to carry the flag. Isn't he a winner? Derek Para is a winner. He broke a world record. But more importantly, he and Vanetta Flowers broke a color barrier. Now millions of children, like Clarence and Leon Stimson, downhill skiers from South Philadelphia, have a new inspiration and new dreams. I know I can do anything I put my mind to. Didn't they win? Winning is such a subjective thing. But consider this. A hateful few tried to rip the world apart by attacking America. And now, just five months later, a celebration of world unity in America. Never have those Olympic rings meant more. The world intertwined in spectacular defiance of those who had hoped to terrorize. And in that, haven't we all won? Sometimes, it seems so long ago. Sometimes, it seems like yesterday. It was one year ago that terrorists struck. It was their hope that along with the towers, America and all it stands for would crumble in a swirl of dust. As the dust settled, there were those who searched but never found loved ones. We're hoping that somebody recognizes him. For them, life will never be the same. For those who answered the call of enduring justice, life may not be the same for some time to come. But what about the rest of us? Has your life really changed? You have to wait a little longer to get on a plane, and you may get your bag checked at a Phillies game. But has your life really changed? The malls were still packed with the spirit of Christmas. The Olympics were held in brilliant defiance of terror. The boardwalk in Ocean City was still crowded with families on vacation, and mothers still kissed their children as they headed off for the first day of school last week. Has life really changed? No. And that may be our ultimate revenge. The American way of life was attacked, and it has endured. Or as Francis Scott Key put it, and our flag was still there. Oh, say does that Star Spangled Banner yet wave for the land of the free. The land of the free. Land of the free. Land, land of, of the free. free. Land of the free. And the home of the brave.